Update 1 on Hurricane Odile, which is currently located in the eastern Pacific with winds of 85 miles per hour and a pressure of 977 millibars. Its position is now 16.6 degrees north, 106.0 west. Uh, at 8 p.m. UTC on September 13th, the storm is expected to move towards the northwest, where it's likely to become a Category 2 hurricane, and then a gradual weakening expected from its peak in around 24 or 36 hours. Um, the storm could graze the western coast of the Baja California Peninsula, uh, weakening along the way uh, before uh, dissipating perhaps six or seven days from now uh, out in the open eastern Pacific, but uh, that's for a later date to talk about. Uh, at the moment, the immediate threat is the western coast of Mexico and the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula. Uh, tropical storm watches from Manzanillo to Cabo Corrientes and from La Paz to Santa Fe. Um, so that's the current situation there with tropical storm watches, though no hurricane watches or warnings have come into effect yet, or indeed tropical storm warnings. Uh, of course, the former Manzanillo to Cabo Corrientes uh, will probably see perhaps a few a bit of gusty winds maybe, uh, but no real full force tropical storm conditions are expected. Uh, unless it jogs towards the northeast, of course. Sea surface temperatures remaining fairly warm, 28 to 30 degrees Celsius on the cards for the next day or two uh, before they drop uh, gradually as the storm moves towards the northwest, dropping below the 26 threshold in around two days' time or a bit more. Uh, wind shear is low to moderate, and that will, should remain so. Uh, for much of its passage to be honest um, it's not increasing right now and looking at the water vapor imagery you can see um, Odeal and 16E towards its um, immediate west and a big mass of dry air to the northwest of that that the storm will have to contend with uh, but these are the computer models. This was just before it was upgraded to a hurricane. It's intensified a bit more since then, uh, and it could intensify to a Category 2 storm, uh, perhaps towards a high-end Cat 2, if it really gets a shake on with intensifying now. Uh, the storm's expected to move, of course, towards the northwest. The models split ever so slightly near the end of that five-day track, uh, but most, um, most likely it won't make any landfall. Uh, looking at wind shear, as I say, very low. Um, 10 knots of shear or lower is the signals here from the models. Uh, and even if it's a bit higher than that, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Sea surface temperatures, as said, will begin to fall gradually, uh, dropping below the 26 degree threshold at latest by the 17th of September. Um, and looking at the relative humidity chart, uh, that's gradually on the decline as well, beginning tomorrow. 24 hours from now but uh, strengthening is certainly possible in the next few hours looking at the latest um, track forecast on according to this graphic um, over the next few days you can see how the storm is expected to move towards the northwest affecting uh, the Mexican area uh, in particular the Baja California Peninsula not so much the mainland of Mexico uh, by the looks of things but the area around La Paz southwards uh, should be vigilant for tropical storm and perhaps the isolated areas of hurricane conditions as well. Latest satellite imagery, you can see the appearance of an eye beginning now um, in the past few frames. That's around an hour or two um, since the eyes began. The eye began to come out. Um, less obvious on the infrared imagery as you can see here, but you can just about make it out, um, and that will probably become more well defined in the coming hours uh, overnight. Uh, of course, the gradual movement is towards the northwest, a fairly slow movement at the moment. Uh, but that may um, increase in speed as it heads towards the northwest. Um, the central core of the storm, most of the intense thunderstorm activity is towards the south side, but the isolated spiral band is heading into the Mexican coastline now, producing thunderstorms, heavy rain, uh, which could of course lead to flash flooding and mudslides. As of September 13th, at 8 p.m. UTC, this is the current situation. Tropical Aggression 16E, a deal. Um, Invest 92L and 93L in the Atlantic. Tropical Storm Edward, which is gradually intensifying little by little. And uh, Typhoon Kalmegi, which is going to make landfall in the Philippines as a Category 1 hurricane, most likely. 56 tropical storms have formed so far in 2014 worldwide, 29 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents around the world with winds of 74 miles per hour plus sustained, and 16 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher. Odile is unlikely to become the 17th. 
You can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website is the main place to be, force13.com. Uh, just take a look on there for all the latest uh, up-to-date information on all the storms around the world. And of course you can visit the video pages with re regular updates on there. YouTube and Daily Motion. just search Force 13 on those. And the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 on those, at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch. And you can speak to me personally on Skype, at Full 13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat. You can also visit the control room and the forum on the website uh, for a more visual representation of what's going on and indeed to speak to fellow storm trackers about the ongoing events tropics-wise around the world. Next update on this storm, if necessary, will follow tomorrow. <laughs>